Bahrain qualifying is nearly upon us and the drivers look as if they're all geared up to go. I expect we'll be getting underway very shortly. Looking at this field today, Anthony, do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance? Maybe run the hard tyres and save some of the grippier tyres for the race tomorrow? Well, I'd be surprised in all honesty. It's only the front runners that really have the pace to get away with that. And even then, at the end of the day, it's a big risk. Track position is the most important thing, and it's rarely worth sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race, so I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it. I have been wrong before, though. We certainly do see some risky decisions every now and then, and it's a gamble that's sometimes worth taking. But if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. <coughs> Well, hello my fellow Let's Be Seen, it's Kenzie Retro here and welcome back to F1 2019. It's been a while since I've done a career mode video. Nevertheless. Here we go. Let's go. Qualifying. Last time I just missed out on the points because of time penalties. just seen as well that F1 2019 is on sale digitally right now, so where do I decide to go for it? Always a tough corner to get right. Three, two, that's fine. That I can handle. And I should get through to the next part of qualifying without much trouble. Oh, I've always enjoyed, I've always enjoyed Bahrain. There goes Hamilton. Hands are going to get faster as the track starts to get rubbered in more. I'm safe. I'm good. Comfortably into the next part of qualifying. There's all three tenths. That's practically nothing. And where is Devin? Ooh. Wait. Hang on, what? Ha, 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 hang on, what? Wait a minute, was... Wasn't Devin Butler at Williams? I could have sworn Devin Butler was at Williams. 
Hang on a second, let me double check. Something's not quite adding up here. I'm convinced Gavin Butler was at Williams. Right, um... Uh, from 2019, let's have a look. Australia. Yeah. I could have sworn he was at Williams. No, he was at Tor. No, he was at Tor Russell, my mistake. I was convinced for a moment he was at Williams. I kept thinking that George Russell was his teammate. Turns out it isn't. Anyway. Uh, it's Bottas, Vettel, Gasly. Lap in on the... Oh. Supposed to happen. That's what I was going to do. Hang on. This way I'm hoping I can get, go longer than great. I do like how shiny the tires are. The tires are so shiny. <clears throat> I would play that song from Moana, but I've got to be careful with copyright UK special. bringing all this up is, of course, just with the second part of qualifying, the tyres you take your part to slap on, but the tyres you start on for the race. I'm still faster. 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 Oh! 21,000. I lost a bit of time in the final sector. Ah, uh, hey-ho. Right. I don't have to worry about Mr. Smugface. 6,000 stronger than the clan, though. This is going to be a good race. And I'm the only one in the top 10 that's on the, the medium tyres. <laughs> uh, Hamilton, Vettel, Verstappen, Leclerc, Gasly, Perez, Norris, Bottas. Bottas on the 8th? How slow is his car? And then you've got Magnussen.
Welcome to the times I'm starting the race on. Right. <clears throat> Go back onto these tyres. Set a banker lap in. And then go on to a fresh set of softs. So that way I'm guaranteed a fresh set of softs for the race. on this track at the start of the season. It's a shame technical issues plagued him, otherwise he would have got his first race win as well. Quicker than Claire on new soft tires. I can handle that. Across the line. 33.082. I'll take that. So let's have a look. Three tenths quicker means I should get pole position. Right, I've got about four minutes to go. Norris hasn't set a time, neither does Hamilton. Hamilton's on a lap right now, let's see what he gets. Only fifth! Hmm, what's about that? Six, uh, six seasons I've done, and I've yet to win in Australia, because I started my career, if you will, in F1 2013.
Ah, eh, screw it, go big, go home. Go home. I've got two sets of soft tyres. I'll keep them for the race. Just a fresh set of soft tyres. These are only available for this part of qualifying. So here we go. Is this competition going to be? I've always enjoyed Bahrain. I managed to get my first win on this circuit back in 2014 on the day of my 21st birthday, like, based on when the actual race took place. And then just before F1 2015 came out, I managed to get. Not today, Leclerc. If anyone's standing on pole position, if anyone's starting on pole position today, Shaw, it ain't, it ain't gonna be you. You ain't repeating Bahrain 2019. You ain't repeating what you did in Bahrain. With qualifying IRL. finished, it's time to remind anyone's ourselves of our top three. The and look how big the gap Leclerc is. and Lewis Hamilton. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. The curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir as the players take their places for the opening act. Will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton? Well, we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain. We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Let's talk briefly about Lando Norris. They're still relatively new to a sport which does have a high learning curve and, of course, little tolerance for mistakes. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. The Rainmaster lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas, and Gasly, Vettel, Perez, Magnussen, and Lando Norris. Sainz, Grosjean, Nico Hulkenberg, and Albon, Stroll, Ricardo, Devon Butler, and Kimi Raikkonen. Faber and George Russell ends our grid lineup, and with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start.
Yep, we're good.
Oh, he's gone. Ah, <laughs> he's out of the race. <laughs> Too slow off the restart. Sayonara, Saka! There we go, advantage retro, ha <laughs> ha! Switch. Vettel's the only one that's gone onto a second compound, mind you. I'm, mind you, I've done the same as well.
Weber and Magnuson, they've gone to a second compound. Everyone else apart from me and Vettel is still to use a second compound. And <laughs> Mr. Smokeface is out of the race. <laughs> he will not be happy about that. If you like my music. <laughs> good, sir. Devon Butler's getting mille fois today. Vettel has just crossed the line. There he is. expecting. So he's got the RS. On Vettel. And he sees the Williams and it's a case of, oh no. You can see the point of impact round about there, and... Oh no, no! That's a... that's a game changer.
metal behind. The gap behind us is 22.5 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tires are 29 laps old. The time last lap was a 137.5. As things stand, we'll be third in the championship. Dominant run from right to flag. He's got the fastest lap of the race. As things stand, we'll be fourth in the championship. To make some very strong progress in the championship. He's 11th in the championship heading into this race, just missing out on points due to time penalty. We've got another time penalty today, but it's not going to negate what's going to be a fantastic win for this young man. He's already got four world titles. He's got a Formula 2 title under his belt. Now, he is heading towards his first win of the season. Claiming Alfa Romeo's first win since 1951, 68 years in the making. He's coming down the front straight now. Kenji Racho with his first win of the season. He wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. For another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Alfa Romeo. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. So here they come now, out onto the podium. It's thrilling to see this team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams in the sport and come out on top. What a superb victory from the Alfa Romeo team. So, let's review the driver's standings. This result narrows the gap between our championship leader and the rest of the standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? For me, it's Kimi Raikkonen, someone who definitely doesn't get enough attention for how well he performs out on the track. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Good day today. Let's have your take on it.
How do you think Devon will react to having not been able to finish today's race? Some excellent overtaking moves from your former teammate today. Did he learn some of them from you? That race put you ahead of your old F2 teammate in the championship. How competitive are the two of you? He took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? Great. Well, that's everything. Great work. That's exactly the kind of result I'm looking for. Keep it up. Here you can see a list of eligible drivers to declare as your rival. The more challenging they are to beat, the more the paddock will respect you for succeeding. Just be aware, you'll lose the same amount of respect if you come off second best. So it may be wise not to be overly ambitious. So if you did, as always, hit the thumbs up and you want to be baptised into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, click the bell to join the latest day notification notifications squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous video on the left, F1 2019 playlist on the right, reaction day tomorrow. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, peace out, and as always, stay faithful.